The kingdom of God life brings the culture of God to the earth. We are in this world, but not of it. We have a king over us, King Jesus, and his word brings light and life. I am living proof of the kingdom way of life found in the Bible. In Matthew 12 verses 36 to 37, Jesus said, But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Literally, this means a man will go to heaven or hell because of his tongue work, what he said or didn't say. The Apostle Paul's words on salvation in Romans 10. 8 to 10 buttresses this, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Your life is the character of your words. To, if a man's words are confusing, his life will be confusing as well. In the same vein, if your words are wholesome, your life will be perfect, excellent, and inspiring. Proverbs 15 verse 4 says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life. Watch your words, your confessions, they control your future. Proverbs 12 verse 18 says, The tongue of the wise is health. You can keep yourself in health, peace and safety with your words. Talk faith, success, and increase, 1 Peter 3.10 says. For he that will love life, and see good days. Let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guile. Keeping your lips from evil means keeping them from speaking fear, doubt, and unbelief. If you found yourself in poverty, sickness, or anything that's contrary to the good life that's been given to, you in Christ, it's because you're not using your mouth right. It's time for you to change things. Learning to walk the walk King Jesus showed us how to live.